in the Alamo City this month. Of course, it's Mother's Day coming up this weekend. Memorial Day also takes place in May. If you're looking for something to do, flags for fallen vets always need volunteers to help place flags and then go back and pick them all up. And there's also the Tejano Conjunto Festival and some free events like a jazz concert series at the Japanese Tea Garden. See, we told you it was a full month. If you would like the full list of all the events going on in May, all you got to do is go to ksat.com. Few showers out there. We're not looking for much today, but lots of clouds. Temperatures up around 85. We're sitting in 79 right now. Few storms out west tomorrow, though now rain chances build just a little bit Wednesday into Thursday. We'll be looking for a few storms and then temperatures skyrocket. It's going to be hot by the weekend. Thank you, Justin, and thank you for watching the news at noon with us. And we've already learned something before we even throw it out to SA Live. It's better to crack your egg on a solid surface than on the side of the bowl. I did not know really? that. Really? That's what he said. Yeah, I did not we know. We don't that. get shells in the bowl. In the bowl. Nah, smart. See? Smart move there. SA Live starts right now. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from Historic Market Square. This is SA Live. Oh, 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 oh hello, puppy. Who's, we're, whose puppy are you? You're, we're. He didn't want to be on TV too. Yeah, he's like, no, please get the camera out of my face. Oh my oh, goodness. Oh. Is that you? Who did, Where's he going? Ted? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Oh, that was kind of sad. Wait. Wait, no. Please tell me that dog. I don't know if that's owner. a good way to start the week or not. Okay. Anyway, hi everyone. I'm Mike Ostrange. Happy Monday, except for that dog. <laughs> I know. And I'm Fiona Gorstiza. And of course, it's Monday. And all of us may need that little extra pick me up of yes. a cup of Joe. Um, so we want to know do you have a favorite coffee mug? Um, I don't know. We do. You? do. We do. Job security. We do. Yes. Hi. <laughs> we're, we're good yes. company folk okay. here. So. All right. You I, have one, I, right? I have one, yes. Uh, last Besides year, this one. Last They're year for Father's favorite, right? Day, my boys got me a coffee mug, and I think I have a picture of it. We don't have the picture. Darn. It was uh, Describe it. Darth Vader, <laughs> oh. and it says, uh, your powers are a weak, old man. I was like, thanks for that. So, yeah. I guess we have to see it. I guess you have to see it. So, <laughs> I have an egg here. We're going to show how to practice would have in a really second. Helped. So, okay. yeah. so well, why don't you share your uh, favorite coffee mug with us at SA Live KSAT on Facebook and Twitter? And we'd love to see those. See those, you know, later on in the show. <laughs> I tried. I tried here. <clears throat> Okay, okay. Take a look at this no, picture here. No, 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 it's only an hour show. Okay. All right, our first guest. Our first guest has quite a culinary resume. He was on Food Network show Cooks vs. Cons and was even the personal chef to former President George H.W. Bush and his wife, Barbara. That's so cool. I know. Chef Adrian Perez is here to show you how to treat mom to a presidential, if you will, you know, Mother's Day breakfast. Welcome, Absolutely. welcome. Can, welcome. Thank you all for having me. Yeah, the quiche is something really simple to make. Uh -huh. uh, people are intimidated by it. It was the first recipe I ever learned. So a quiche, because uh, yeah, it's yeah. true. Most people think quiche and they go, oh, that, that, well, that's it's super sad. beautiful. Yeah. You know, it's got a lot of intricacy to it and there's a crust involved. People get nervous about the crust, but it's really simple to make. Okay, okay. so how do we get started? All right, so first we start off with a little bit of knife skills, uh, first and foremost, mm -hmm. and knife safety. So we're going to chop our vegetables up. Now I mm -hmm. always put a wet paper towel or, or dry, wet under my cutting board and it keeps it from sliding so you don't want to cut some you're swiveling around like so uh so with, simple it is very simple a simple fix uh always hold your knife by pinching it with your forefinger and your thumb like so uh -huh. uh, never put your finger over the top a lot of folks like to do this and what that does is wobble the knife okay so pinch it get a nice handle on it and balance and just go your back should actually never leave the cutting board. So if you notice, you just slide back and forth like this while you're cutting things. So say I have a zucchini, if you have a better example. Right. Up and down like so, and just let it glide back and forth. Okay. So just mm -hmm. keep it simple, uh, live in natural life, leave the cutting board, and curl your fingers in when you're cutting as well. Okay. Yeah, so it's you know better to nick a knuckle than nick a fingertip, right? And all those go, all those yes. veggies go into a pan. And you said that the, the secret to that is? Uh, keep them dry. So once they're sa sauteed, you're gonna dab them with a paper towel and get the moisture off of them. And don't salt them until they're done, because they'll weep a lot. Okay. okay. Yeah, salt is done. So saute those in a couple of tablespoons of butter. And while those are cooking, mm -hmm. we're going to uh, par bake our pie crust. So I used a puff pastry today, and all I did was poke some holes in the bottom of the uh, pie there. And I'm going to weigh it down with some dry beans or dry rice. This is garbanzo beans, so that way it keeps it from rising. Mm -hmm. So par bake that for about 15 minutes. Which you and can like use that. just a regular yeah. pie crust, though, Absolutely. that you buy. Yeah. This is what I had left at the freezer, so we're using right. the puff pastry today. But yes, definitely. But it's, it's, it's light, it's flaky. It's, it's fine. Yeah. I think it's more fun. It's okay. more rustic and more real. And, and that's the other thing when you said that's what you had in the freezer. That's yeah. the thing about a quiche, almost like an omelet, is where 
whatever in the fridge will work. That's what you put in Absolutely. it. Absolutely. So I'm using a mix of cheeses I have in the fridge as well. I'm using the Wisconsin cheeses. Mm -hmm. I've got some pepper jacks, some gouda over there to go with the bacon. Oh, there's bacon in this also, by the way. And then we're adding a little bit of the uh, cheddar as well. So just mix any cheese you want. They'll all work together. You're adding cream to this. It's going to taste delicious no matter what. So, okay. And before you throw the vegetables in, you want to make sure you kind of sop up the... Pat them dry a little bit, yeah. Definitely. So that they don't... So the, the crust doesn't get all soggy, right? And, absolutely. And what's and the ratio of eggs to cream here? So we're going to do six eggs to about a cup and a half, uh, about a cup of uh, half and half. Half, you can add mm -hmm. cream. You do milk, you mix. Everyone does something different. A salt and pepper are going to go in there as well. And no flour. No, no flour in this one. I always thought there was flour in a in a I quiche, don't know what so. you're talking about. There's no flour in there. <laughs> I, I don't know. I could be wrong too. There's a uh, more than one way it's going to be. Maybe yeah. they did that a long, maybe long they did time that. ago. Back in the day. <laughs> it sounds like a classic <laughs> version of this. Uh, so once those are going to be cooked down, and listen, when your vegetables are in the skillet, let them sit there and do their job. Let them cook. You want them to brown and caramelize. That's where all the natural flavor is. And then spinach and the sour cream will mix together. As well. Mm -hmm. Is this going in the egg mix? It is, but it's going here first. No. So oh. we're going to layer this together. We're going to move okay. all this out of the way. And I added some fresh herbs to there as well if you want to. Anything you want. So you know. this goes in first? Well, yes, yep. this one yes. first. Okay. okay. And then next goes the vegetables. Okay. Alrighty. Good job. Yeah, that was okay. quick. It's quicker than I made it. Spread out there. Spread it nice and even. Okay. Your oven's probably around 350, depending on you know what kind of crust you're doing. Over the top goes the vegetables. Okay. And then you're going to pile on all this cheese. Oh, wow. All the goodness. Okay, because okay. my first thought would be, you mix everything in the egg and then dump it in there, but you just, like you said, I think you have to layer good. it. So. Right, so I okay. used to do the same thing. I was very lazy back in the day, and I discovered when you layer it, it just makes it softer and uh, more, more fluffier, if you will. Okay. And then so cheese? The cheese goes on top, oh, and then we're just going to drizzle that with the ladle, uh, the egg mix over the top of that. Okay. And pop it in the oven. And listen, if your crust on the edges gets too golden and it's cooked too fast, just cover a little bit of foil on the edges. Okay. There you go. Okay. So you don't just dump this in there, just get it all. I mean, you can. It's kind of okay. fun. The kids would be fun with this. It's easy to make for them as well. So make a little mess. It's all right. And okay. how long how and long how hot? Now you went over the edge there. Now we got to fix that. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. Just, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm messing me. with you. That's good. That's okay. okay. Leave a little room uh, for it to rise. And then pop in the oven, cook it, uncover it on a nice uh, baking sheet. And it's done in about 20 minutes. Okay. There we oh, wait. Have. Our, our finished dishes okay. over there. All, all right. right. There you go. We've got Taste about, that one. We've about got 30 seconds left. But I want you to tell the story real yes. quick of how you ended up a personal chef to a former president. Oh, goodness. Well, okay. I was living in my car. I just started my business first uh -huh. year. Uh, struggling a little bit. Customer service is very important to me. I had a client who had the connection. I didn't know it was the Bushes, <laughs> uh, but I was uh, delivering to her. She needs special uh, special meals for her and her baby. She okay. just had a baby. So she said, I'm going to refer you to the Bushes. They need a replacement chef for a month. Mm -hmm. And there I was sitting in their kitchen the next day, wow. cooking for four, uh, three or four meals a day, eight hours a day. And it was uh, the biggest honor of my career so far. And you said they're eating healthier at the time, and you were instructed no I was instructed no not to give him any kind of libations, any kind of uh, bad sugar, but President Bush did like his whiskey and uh, pecan cherry ice cream after dinner. And so you don't say no to a president. You don't say no to the president. <laughs> so he got his, uh, he got a small portion of that just to get him by. So yeah. That's a great story. All right. Well, if you'd like more information on Personal Chef Adrian and Complete Eats uh, to Go on our website, uh, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab, or just snap that QR code right there at the bottom of your screen. And he is going to be back with three great ways to make guacamole coming yes. up. All right. So a great meal for mom is awesome, but how about a fantastic makeover? I love these makeovers. And Argenta Biostrowski is live over there at one of our favorite places, DeAnthony Salon, where she's about to reveal the final looks for some deserving moms. Hi, Jen. Hi, it's like, we can't really go by that. <laughs> here at DeAnthony's Salon here at the Dominion location and there's three deserving women here that are about we're about to reveal their final look but Diane is joining me now the owner Diane tell me about what's going on here today today we have three beautiful women and we've done makeovers on them my team is amazing we're usually closed on Mondays but we open up just for them so they really deserve this and she's going to explain why let's get our first model Melinda's photo on the screen so you can see her before photo and let me know more about Melinda. Okay, so Melinda, um, she had very dark hair. Her stylist Heaven wanted to do multiple techniques of giving her different variations of lightener. Mm -hmm. So she is, she wanted her to be a very dimensional brunette and that's exactly what she did. It looks beautiful. I can't wait to show yes, you yes. She's a mom of four, right? She is a mom of four her, and she looks amazing. Her uh -huh. makeup artist was Dylan and this is her. Okay, time for the reveal. Here she is, and ta-da, beautiful. How do you feel? I feel great. Very thankful for this opportunity from the salon and being a boy mom of four, <laughs> um, I now feel great and look great, so date night tonight. 
Yes. Let's show them the back. Look at a little bit of hints of red mm -hmm. going in there. Mm -hmm. Lots of dimensional brunette. She looks absolutely stunning. Heaven did an amazing job. Yes. Beautiful. So we'll see that final before and after now. As you can see, very pretty. I see all the dimension and a beautiful cut and a well-deserving mom. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Amazing. Yes, okay. the team does such a great job. All right, so we're going to get our next mom on the screen now. And that is Casey is our next mom. So we'll have her picture come up. Perfect. So tell me about Casey. Casey is a mom of triplets. She doesn't take time for herself and she hasn't came into the salon for over two years. So this is Casey, her stylist Lorenzo. We started out with a very dark canvas. So he had to lighten her up, put multiple foils in there and even out her color. She looks fantastic. Okay, again, you had mentioned earlier the box colors, what they were, you know, when the pandemic happened and all that. Yes. We had to do what we had to do. So, all right, time for the reveal. Are you ready? Here she is, beautiful, wow. So tell me what they did here. Well, we took her to a much lighter level as you can see on her before and after picture. She was very dark. She has multiple highlights in her hair now and you can see her hair as she turns around and shows all the different colors. We have a lot of warm tones in here and they just look absolutely natural. It fits her complexion beautifully and her style, her makeup artist was Cecilia and her stylist is Lorenzo and he did an amazing job. Look at all that color now. How, how do you feel? I feel wonderful. I'm so happy to be here and my hair turned mm -hmm. out absolutely perfect. Nice, so we'll get one more final look at the before and the after. And wow, beautiful. Again, mom of triplets. Wow. Yes. Busy, busy, busy moms. Well yes. deserved, all right. So we'll move on to our final mom. And our final mom is Rosa. <coughs> Tell me about Rosa, Diane. Well, Rosa has three daughters, five grandchildren. She stays very busy with, her, with the kids. But again, she was doing box color, very dark. Israel, her stylist, took her to a nice, lighter, a much lighter level. Mm -hmm. And he did diagonal slices throughout her whole hair. Everything that wasn't in a foils, we went in and darkened to give her dimension as well. Finished up with a beautiful cut and style and she looks amazing. All right, now it is time to see the reveal. And there she is, beautiful Rosa. How do you feel? I feel pretty <laughs> and I'm very thankful for this makeover. I've, I, I'm. <laughs> yeah. You don't take too much time for yourself yeah, then, right? I don't. Yes. So I feel really, really nice today. And look at the colors that she has. Multiple yes. dimension in her hair. Lots of dimension. Highlights, low lights. This is called a bronze. You're not really blonde and you're not really brown. You're a little bit of both. You know? Beautiful. Israel's her stylist and Cecilia was her makeup artist. Looks very, very nice. And we can see the before and after there. Um, the final look, gorgeous. Now, Diane, we know this is a busy season. Thank you, ladies. Well, yes. Uh, moms, let me get on this side. Uh, but let's talk about what else you do. You have, uh, we have prom coming up and all of that stuff. And they can find you. How many locations in town? We have three locations. We have Halotas, Alamo Heights, and Dominion. Look us up. We do weddings, proms, everything. Anything doing with hair, we can take care of it. All right. Thank you so much, Diane. Thank you, ladies, for all you do as moms. And Fiona, and Mike, I'm going to send it back to you. <laughs> I always love those makeovers. And they just, um, the, the smiles and the room speechless. Yes. Thank you, Jen. All right, still ahead on SA Live, one local stop, tons of great gift ideas for mom. We're checking out some of the one-of-a-kind items you can only find here. But first, we are celebrating Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month, and here to help us are the folks from Filipino Licious showing off the delicious, oh, lupia right there. Yeah, that's your, I can that's eat your jam, all those. if you will. Yeah. <laughs> Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month, and Mike is already back into the Lumpia Shanghai, and here to help us, of course, is Teresa Bautista, owner of Filipino Licious. Okay, all right, he's going to be busy there eating. Yes. Okay, so 
Um, there's new stuff to talk about with you, and I'm so yes. happy about that. But food is one of those things that kind of, you know, it connects all of us. And exactly. you love to do that with food. So what are yes. we making today? So we are actually making lumpia today, the traditional way. Mm -hmm. So we can go ahead and start. Okay. And it's kind of mm -hmm. like a um, the Filipino version of a little taquito or something. Right. That okay. has the meat inside. So again, mm -hmm. how do we get started? And you can put anything in them too, right? Yes. So we have the ground beef, ground beef today, mm -hmm. and you can put the seasoning. I put garlic powder, salt, pepper in there, and the vegetable, and put celery and carrots. carrots. So okay. you just put it all in there, okay. and just crack the egg. Now I'm going to use the the method. <laughs> to bind it all together. Yes. Okay, hold on. I haven't done this before. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna hit. Okay, right. Oh, not a lot of shell. There you go. Did it work? <laughs> Did it work? <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Okay. And then I'm gonna make the chef. Right? The chef is so proud. He's so, so proud. Look at that. Okay. All right. And you have always said, Fiona, that if you have a party, mm -hmm. you have lumpia. If you make one, you have to make about 10 million of them, right? Exactly. Yep. Because yes. you just keep eating these things one after the other. After the other. About how many have you made in your in your lifetime? Um, so technically, at the farmer's market, we make like 18, uh, 18, uh, 1,800 to 2,000 lumpias every market. How long does that take you to make them? All day. Oh, wow. <laughs> All day. Now Mike is going to get started okay. over there, That's right? That's right. Okay, so, so what has he got? So, so we have spring roll shell right here, which you can get at the grocery store or Asian markets. A, exactly, yes. All right. And then I take a little bit of the... You're going to get a little bit of the meat. You put it in That's the right. middle. About, about how much? Like, well, yes, that much? Yes, that's okay. fine. So about the yes. size of a golf ball or so. And right in the middle? Put like in the middle. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. like a sausage. And then you put the lumpia wrapper on top, roll it up a little bit. Like this? And on the side, you fold the sides. Pull the sides in. Uh huh. Very nice. Okay. And remember, you do have a flour with water there to seal it on the, the blue. Okay. Very this one? bottom. Yep. Yes. So I go okay. like this. Yes. And so, as far as what's inside lumpia, yes, it can be anything, mm -hmm. but it's typically served with what? It's typically served with the um, pancet and the. Like the beef. The beef. Oh, yes, the yeah. beef and the turkey mm -hmm. or pork mm -hmm. or vegetables my or glue's, dessert. My glue's yeah, not but sticking. But there we go. Okay. Now I'm going to put it in with the other ones yeah, in okay. here. Yes. 999 more to go. Okay. But you've got it. And then <laughs> just cook them down in some hot oil. Yes. Oh, get down in there. All right. So that will that will fry up. Okay. And so mm -hmm. you also serve pancit, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. The pancit is a stir fry noodles, and we put uh, vegetables in it. We have cabbage, carrots, chicken, a little bit of soy sauce, and sesame oil. And this is a traditional Filipino dish. And pancit mm -hmm. can also be served with like shrimp, right? With shrimp, mm -hmm. with vegetables, tofu. Now, Filipino mm -hmm. food is not quite what you think of as the usual kind of Chinese food, right? Right. It's got other influences. Yes, so we, we are Philippines is a Spanish colonized country, so it has a little bit of um, uh, Spanish influence mm -hmm. in it. It's doing well. Okay. It sounds, it sounds mm -hmm. like it's yes. doing well. Yeah. Good job. Almost there. Okay. <laughs> and of course, cooking? let's talk about the barbecue. Oh, so the pork barbecue is a traditional street food in the Philippines. So we marinated with the banana ketchup, salt, pepper, and soy sauce for 24 to 48 hours. And the meat, uh, using that ke banana ketchup, it tenderizes the meat and it tastes diff like I can't even imagine. And you Tell can you find that banana good. ketchup like at any kind of Filipino store, Filipino right? Filipino store, Asian store, mm -hmm. and you can use it as different dishes. And it's dishes. sweet. It and is sweet. sweet. And where is your place located? Uh, we are located in Wonderland Mall of Americas. Uh, we are also in the Farmer's Market, Garden Ridge, and Hello This Farmer's Market. We recently uh, bought a food truck, yeah. so we are... Um, going to get a spot close to like I-35 shirts area? Yes. All right. Keep looking on her website <laughs> okay. for more information on that. All right. That's Once right. again, Filipino Licious is located at 4522 Fredericksburg Road. That's inside the Wonderland of the Americas Mall. For more information, she also caters, of course. Just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab, or just snap that QR code on your screen. Still ahead on SA Live. Well, think your guacamole is good. We're making the classic snack with the chef who of course has cooked for former president H.W. Bush. Here are his tips for the perfect guac. And if you're looking to switch careers, why you should ask your potential employer so you can make sure your finances are secure. Tip from the pros this Money Monday. It's next on SA Live.
All right, it's Money Monday on SA Live, and if you've recently started a new job or you're thinking about a career change, there are three things you should ask your new or potential employer to get you on the right track with your finances. And here to share those important financial tips is Tammy Tiras, lead advisor with Texas Financial Advisory. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. All right, so for folks, you know, changing careers, which, you know, coming out of the pandemic, you know, a lot of folks, you know, may have had to shift that way. What's one of the main things they should ask about? Well, one of the main things is definitely healthcare benefits. Um, you want to make sure that from your former employer to your new employer that you have no gap in coverage. So you can do that with either COBRA or through the marketplace. Um, also with a, if you had a health savings account at your former employer and your current employer offers it, you wanna see if there's the benefits of transferring that old plan. Um, one good thing about a health savings account is that it never, never goes away, you never lose that money. Now on the other hand, with a flexible savings account, you can lose that money. That plan cannot transfer to your current employer. So you wanna make sure you spend every penny before you leave. Use it or lose it, right? Yes, of course, <laughs> use it or lose it. All right, what about salary and bonuses? Well, the best chance of negotiating your salary is gonna be before you begin your job. Um, you also wanna look at, you know, you wanna to prove to your new employer and be open-minded and show that you're a team player. Um, and then, you know, companies really like candidates that are open-minded and willing to work towards a bonus-based project. All right, and so, of course, you'd want, you want to plan for a financial mm -hmm. future with your employer, right? Of course. So what do you need to look for? Yes, you wanna look at your 401k. Mm -hmm. Now, before you leave your former employer, you just wanna know what your options are. Some companies have vesting limits that, um, you know, you can't take all the money with you if you don't reach a certain amount of time that you stay with that employer. Right. So just know your options before you leave. And then when you start with your current employer, you want to enroll as soon as possible. Um, you can also automate those savings so they come from your paycheck so you don't spend it all. Right. Um, another thing is to ask if your employer has a Roth 401k so you can contribute to that as their tax-free plans. It's a, it's a great opportunity to take advantage of. And then you want to contribute at least what your company matches. That is just free money right. that you know they're just giving to you. And of course, you've also got an ebook that you're giving away, yes, right? What's it yes. about and how can folks get one? So it's called Retire Happy. Uh, you can go on our website, texasfinancialadvisory.com. Um, it talks about, you know, your goals, your risk, your funds. I don't want to give too much away. I want you to download that ebook. So yeah, it's called Retire Happy. All right. Thank you so much, Tammy. For more information on Texas Financial Advisory, just call 210-530. 1292 or visit the website texasfinancialadvisory.com. Thank you, Nick. Thank you. Still ahead on SA Live, if completing a 5K isn't reward enough, this one comes with a tasty prize at the end. Find out what and how you can help save young lives by pounding the pavement. And next, stylish one-of-a-kind gifts for mom. A local boutique is bringing their best to help you find that perfect gift. Check out their looks coming up. Say live. Well, are you looking for a Mother's Day gift? A local boutique has jewelry and clothes that you will not find anywhere else. And Florence Barrera, who is the owner of Bohemian Gems, here to show us some of the one-of-a-kind looks that she has created for her shop. And literally yes. one-of-a-kind. Good afternoon. Yes. Hi. Thank you for having us. Okay. The earrings. You make all these, right? Yes. All the earrings are made and designed by me uh, here in San Antonio. And we've been in business since 2016. So since 2016, I've been designing jewelry. Wow. So yeah. you just sit down and come up with an idea yep. and all laser cut and yeah, laser, the majority of them are laser cut. Yes. Nice and, and bold, but not yes. too much, but lots of color too, yes. right? Yes, lots of color. Yes. I like using a lot of color. I like bold pieces. Statement earrings is kind of my thing. So, okay. And speaking of color, I mean the beautiful <laughs> dress that Nelly has on. Yes. So Nelly is currently wearing a rainbow maxi and she has on our floral gingham earrings. I like to a, a mixed pattern so you see the stripes with the gingham there's nothing wrong with that and she's wearing a um, 
a yellow bag and this bag is like perfect for really anywhere. You can wear it to the farmer's market, you can wear it to the beach. It's got no lining, so water resistant, everything like that. It just adds a pop of color. The bag yes. can go to the beach and, and the bag can go to the beach and, and the out farmer's for market and for dinner, anywhere and everywhere. You can take that bag. Fantastic. <laughs> All right, besides uh, earrings and dresses, what do you have in your store? So we also have handbags um, that I do curate and then headbands as well, so hair accessories. And all of these headbands are made and designed by me as well. That is amazing. Those are beautiful, <laughs> simple little things. Simple. Perfect little gifts, like yes. we said, for Our moms. Mothers. So, yes. all right, Jennifer has on yes. a gorgeous dress. You said this is more bohemian. Yeah, this to me, it is almost more looks bohemian. romantic. Yes. You know? <laughs> yes, this is more bohemian inspired, which I love. It's in our name, Bohemian Gem. And um, she's wearing it with a belt here, and it's very just neutral. I love that this look is just very neutral. Um, perfect for going to a winery with your girlfriends or dinner or really anything. I mean, you can take this dress anywhere. So. And it's it's nice and, and it's loose very and airy. flowy. So yes, it's, it's very loose and flowy and airy, so it doesn't have multiple layers. It's not in this heat. You don't have to worry about that with this dress because it's very cool. Okay, mm -hmm. and where are you located? Located uh, 721 South St. Mary Street is mm -hmm. our address. So we're in the King William Historic District, not too far from here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Next dress, yes. and boy, this one, talk about a pop of color. This this is, yes, pop of many colors. So Patsy is wearing a rainbow maxi, and really this dress is perfect for San Antonio because we love color here, right? Uh, Fiesta, we just had that, so it would be perfect for that, perfect for the summer. Neon colors are very in right now. So, and this is another dress that you can take from hanging out with your girlfriends to a date night just because it's so nice and sweet. Yes. And even something you could throw over a yes. swimsuit. At the beach or you, the you can definitely throw it over a swimsuit. You can pretty much wear this dress from day to night. And if you wanted to do, and if like, you wanted, like said, date night heels, yes. or even just to, to go to the grocery store with yes. a pair of funky gym exactly. shoes. Exactly, exactly. Yes, mm -hmm. that is perfect for that. All right, and you have a deal for SA Live viewers yes, today, right? Yes, SA Live. So um, through today, uh, SA Live 15 is the code for 15 percent off our entire website. Okay, so for all viewers now from the now end of the through the end of the day. Yes. And right on your website, yes. or or come into the store and say it too, right? Um, stores closed. Today, oh, but store's so closed. Okay. Just for the website. Yep. SALI 15 for 15% off the entire site. All right. Well, don't forget, you can get 15% off if you use the code SALI15. For more information on Bohemian Gem, just go to our website, SALive.com, click on the As Seen on SA Live tab, or just snap that QR code right there at the bottom of your screen. Thank you so much, Florence. Thank Ladies, you, you are us. beautiful. Look lovely. Thank you. <laughs> Next on SA Live, it's the one snack you gotta have for Cinco de Mayo, how you can take this classic appetizer to the next level. We're getting tips from a Food Network chef. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, Cinco de Mayo is a few days away, and who would be better than a Texas chef to help get you ready? What's yes, up? indeed. And Chef Adrian Perez from Complete Eats is back with tips for the perfect guacamole. So when you were cooking for former President mm -hmm. George H.W. Bush and Barbara, did they like Partake? guacamole? There was no guacamole in oh, there. Okay. Remember, they were eating healthy at the oh, time. Oh, that's right. Well, okay. guacamole is healthy, but there was no spicy food for gotcha. the day. Okay. But I will tell you this, what I discovered doing this, Texans are very, very uh, headstrong about their guacamole, just as much as gumbo or chili. Yeah. So we had quite a few <laughs> fights as who's had the best guacamole recipe. Okay. But I think it's just about how you like it. So there's three different ways we can start with. Smooth, mm -hmm. chunky, or uh, grilled. Right? Oh, grilled. So grilled. we're going to show three different ways. Yeah. So pineapple is going to be our grilled recipe today. I just grilled. If you look right down there, that nice piece of pineapple. Mm -hmm. on a I did it in oh. a cast iron skillet. Mm -hmm. If you don't want to be outside yet because it's a bit hot, gut it out and then add it to your guacamole. We're going to have pomegranate seeds to it as well. So, so you can, put yeah, this go for pineapple it. Pineapple yeah. and right guacamole. Here. I've never heard of it. Uh, you put it in this one. In this right? one? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And never then you'll heard add, of your, that you add your lime juice, not too much, maybe a couple limes max. Uh, people tend to add quite a bit of lime juice and it kills the uh, flavor of the guacamole. Mm -hmm. So remember, your fat carries your flavor in any recipe. So the guacamole has to shine through above all. And the lime and juice every, has acid in it, so yes. that would kill that. So, so okay. Right. So you don't want to add too much. You want to add some. There well, you go. And there then you're going to add a little salt pepper to that here. So I've got some pink Himalayan okay, salt. Oh, he's already trying it. And this is oh, going to cool. be our, our uh, tropical uh, version of this, or our grilled. So that's going to be your charred flavor in there as well. Oh, I want to try this with And the it's got some heat. You add your jalapeno and your usual your usual suspects, right? Okay, but that little bit of tang of the pineapple it sweetens adds you up. a whole new... Mm. Right. 
So sweet. Yes. Is, so you got spice, acid, fats. Mm -hmm. you, the sweet is the balance of all the uh, the four points. So you're missing that by adding the. Uh, uh, pineapple, it yeah. adds it to it. Yes. So you're getting that full that full experience of that. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay. And the pomegranate seeds are just really neat. The next uh, next variety. Mm -hmm. Okay, so smooth is going to be the next. So we're going to do a creamy avocado dip. So for this one, super easy. I added some avocado, sour cream, cilantro into the mix here with onion. Okay. Mm -hmm. And a little bit of salsa it goes in as well. You can use your favorite, whatever you want. I'm using the simple off the store, very inexpensive kind. And just blend that together, and it makes a really creamy, smooth avocado sauce uh, and it's got a nice little thickness to it so you still have the creaminess from the avocado a little bit of heat more onion flavor and garlic as well and the cilantro brings it up so you're just blending all the flavors together basically. and the sauce would be good not only for a dip but maybe to put over uh anything. meat or anything yeah right so this is going to lighten it up if you're not a big uh spicy flavor a spicy kind of person this will lighten it up where the sour cream will kill the heat for you okay okay, okay. so yeah uh, so next is going to be just a simple guacamole but we're going to talk about some tips with this one so um i think one of the myths is you add the pit to the guacamole and it keeps it from turning brown Total myth, so we don't want to do that anymore. Okay. Uh, we want to just add a little bit of lime juice or citric acid to that. So mm -hmm. lime juice is enough. Okay. So squeeze that right into this bowl here, okay. and then a little bit of sea salt goes in as well. A little goes in there. there. And you know what? The mocajete is also something that uh, is a really great thing to have. They say it adds the flavor of the, um, the minerals from the rock to the food. So it's uh, definitely a plus by using that one. So they say. Oh. You know, it never hurts, right? Right. And I would imagine so. Um, so definitely, yeah. And then your cocktail will go now, to this. wash it down. Yes. So we're going to do the Dos Equis Amber. This is a great new flavor they have. I've added in a little uh, tomato sauce, a couple of splashes of your favorite hot sauce, lime juice, and a little bit of the uh, amber from Dos Equis, and it makes a great enchilada. Okay. Oh yeah. my gosh. So you All got right. that good, full kind of tomato spice flavor from that one as well. And I garnished it with the small meal on top, bacon and tomatoes and cheese. All right. Yeah. Real quickly, tell us about Complete Eats and how can folks enjoy your cooking? So visit me at Complete Eats.com. We're a catering service, boutique style. We do everything from cooking classes to small events, light bites, beautiful charcuterie boards. Uh, the cooking night for the, uh, out for the girls is great. Come to your house, do a demo for you and the girls. Pop bottle wine. Nice. Yeah, Thank really, you. Yes. Yeah. So, and you can find a, uh, Chef Adrian TV on Instagram at Complete All right. Right. Thank Guacamole you so with much. With the pineapple, try I that. Know it. Try it. Yeah. It's so good. All right. Wonderful. For more information on Chef Adrian Perez, just and complete eats, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab, or just snap that QR code on your screen. All right, next on SA Live, run a 5K and help save lives. Hear the story behind this event and the young life that inspired it all. Stay with us. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, it's a race to save lives, and you can help by putting on your running shoes for the fifth annual Cupcake Run. And Isabel and Cecilio Torres, co-founders of Gabriel's Smile Foundation, is here to tell us more about the race and the young life that inspired it all. Thank you both so much for being Thank here. Thank you so much. All right, tell us about the Cupcake Run. Yes, so Gabriela Smile Foundation and Gabriela's 5K Cupcake Run is named after Gabriela Elise Torres, who battled a rare form of brain cancer in 2015. She passed away after about almost eight months. Uh, but the cup cupcakes were her favorite snack, and so the Cupcake Run um, is presented by Community First Health Plans and is a really, really fun way that the community comes together to help families honor warriors, honor uh, children battling cancer, and raise funds for a cure and, and to continue helping families. Mm -hmm. And you know, there's a reason there are rainbows on yes. the cupcakes, right? <laughs> yes. Yep. Um, Gabriella's favorite color was rainbow. Mm -hmm. uh, we could never get her to pick one color. She always said, you know, rainbow was her color. She didn't like white, black, or gray. So definitely color was her thing. So we have local donors, uh, particular petty cakes, here that donated these cupcakes and they donate, we're gonna have over 600 cupcakes mm -hmm. and they're all donated by local bakers that generously give their time to, to support this cause. And Gabriella's, this is one of her favorite treats, right? Work cupcakes. She loves cupcakes. So that's cupcakes. why she, you have cupcakes at the end of the yes, race. What would she think about all this? So I think Gabriella would absolutely love it. Um, we affectionately say that Gabriella, what she wanted to do is she wanted to be the boss. Mm -hmm. And so um, we now work for her. So we say we're co founders of the foundation. And so I think she would absolutely love it. I think she would want more color in all the cupcakes. And so we, we're honored that we can honor her memory this way. And of course, it you, you know the foundation helps out families, yes. right? Yes, we help. Uh, the Cupcake Run helps us provide financial assistance to families that are battling um, DIPG, which is a terminal form of brain cancer, and also pediatric brain cancer. And so these funds go to the families so that they can uh, provide for their 
uh, medical medical expenses or non medical expenses that are they need to to cover, and so that's what the funds go to. But we also try to fund research every year and give towards. Um, breakthrough and, and advancing uh, research for pediatric cancer. And of course, you just opened a children's cancer care center <laughs> as well. We did. We're so excited yeah. that this year we were able to launch the Children's Cancer Support Center, which is the first here in San Antonio. And the goal is to help families that are affected by pediatric cancer um, as a whole by providing them with support, resources, and family care. All right, well, there's the information up on the screen. Thank you both for sharing Thank that you. story. Sign up now for the fifth annual Cupcake Run. It's happening next Saturday, May 14th. You can run virtually or in person. The race kicks off at the Blue Bonnet Palace in Selma, and, welcome, and the welcome starts at 7.55 a.m. It benefits, again, Gabriella Smile Foundation and the fight against pediatric cancer. For more information, just head to our website website salive.com and click on the as seen on SA Live tab. You get 10% off with the code Gabriella. Thank you again. Thank you. Tomorrow on SA Live, Cinco de Mayo is just around the corner and we've got a recipe, authentic Mexican cuisine, making chilaquiles from a new local food truck premiering on the show. Plus, this Latina owned boutique was voted best women's boutique by San Antonio Magazine Reader's Choice. We check out our latest looks and products, all that and more tomorrow at 1 on SA Live. Did you know in three months you could have a new career with KSAT local expert John Wayne Service Company? They have a special program to fast track students straight out of high school. Take a look. Well, we're trying to be enlightening to to kids on you know what's what, what's available to them. Trying to inspire them to take advantage of the opportunities they have here. And there's a huge demand for plumbers and electricians and AC techs. Fast Track to the Trades through John Wayne is a three-month program for maintenance technicians. So after three months, we put you in your own truck. You will be running maintenance calls and making uh, around $50,000 a year to start. And, and not only that, you're getting paid to be trained. You become an employee of John Wayne, you are paid for the three-month training. At my high school, it's nothing like this. Great to see you know young high school kids learning about the, the trades and we've got the uh, John Wayne car out here and the kids are taking a look at it and there's a bunch of opportunities you don't have to go to college to, to have a successful career and companies like John Wayne are out there that will hire you right now. Uh, I know John Wayne needs a lot more employees and they already have a ton but they could use more if they could find the right people to hire so you can get right out of high school and go right to work for John Wayne. Y'all, y'all got an opportunity right here with the leaders of this school to learn a work ethic. We've got all this skill set of men and women my age that are slowly retiring and we have no workforce to fill it. So being a part of facility that actually are giving them the opportunity and giving them the structure is awesome. I'm hoping that some of my words meant something to them, that it would be inspiring to them. If it is to be, it is up to me. Say it with me. If it is to be, it is up to me. That's right. There is a great opportunity for them to learn a trade and be successful and maybe possibly own their own business someday.